This is Moments with Foo with James Foo Torres, better known as Foo, the show that takes you around the world to share interviews with some of the most successful and relevant people on the planet, hear their stories, and get the most important business lessons they have learned on their road to success, and get exclusive advice on how to implement their success into your life and business. Moments with Foo is brought to you by the Strategic Advisor Board and your host, Foo. Hi, welcome to Moments with Foo. I'm your host, James Foo Torres, but you can call me Foo, hence the name of the podcast. And today I have Robert Peterson, the smiling entrepreneur coach and president of Add Value to Life. So let's hear from him. Robert, how are you? I am well, Foo. Thanks for having me. Oh, thanks for taking the time to give some value to my audience and to just have an interesting conversation with me. Absolutely <laughs> look forward to it. So let's start by um, giving us a quick introduction. What do you do and why? Yeah, so Robert Peterson, I primarily focus on helping entrepreneurs uh, take control of the voice in their head and you know, so they can rediscover happiness in their life and business. And uh, I also am an author and the host of the podcast, Add Value to Entrepreneurs. Awesome. Awesome. So why did you start this? Like, what was the, the reason that you decided, look, I want to help entrepreneurs to take control of their voice in their head? What was that spark that? Yeah, so I had spent 20 years in Christian ministry, supporting missionaries and working alongside missionaries. Had spent 10 years as a missionary in Colombia. And when I stepped out of the ministry to go into business, um, entrepreneurs are a lot like missionaries. And so working with entrepreneurs is very similar to working with missionaries. They're very independent spirit. They have a, a purpose and drive behind what they're doing. And it's just been a, a more natural fit for me to want to serve and, and help um, entrepreneurs in the same way that I was serving and helping missionaries in ministry. Interesting. Interesting take to, to transform like what you learn uh, while doing like this like missions and ministry and, and bringing in to business uh, and I can see similarities for sure and and that's cool because it's something that definitely I not not something that I hear all the time and pretty sure like the audience uh, don't hear this all the time so it's, it's pretty cool to have this uh, different approach to into the entrepreneurship yeah well oh. thank you it's 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 definitely comes from my heart awesome I, that's that's why I this is one of the most important things, in my opinion, entrepreneurship is just leading with your heart and just being passionate about what you do because it's hard. Uh, entrepreneurship is hard. So that's something that I advocate. Just pick something that you are passionate about and just be completely dedicated to it and, and make sure that, you know, you stay consistent and, and don't quit. And that's why I think passion is so important. So, <laughs> so um, now can you, can you give us uh, either tips or advice to entrepreneurs in general or people that would like to do what you do? Well, I mean, I think one of the primary things, and we mentioned it in the beginning, right, is taking control of that voice in your head. And I think so many people that want to become entrepreneurs and they come up with this great idea, they come up with this dream, and that little voice in their head says, oh, you, how are you going to do that? Well, you've never done that before. And, and of course, we let that voice shut down our dreams. So the first thing I want to encourage everybody is when, when you hear that little voice, just ignore it or, or ask, it, ask it what its purpose is, right? Well, well, what do you mean? I've never done that before. You know, you think the person that invented the iPhone had invented the iPhone before? Of course not, right? All the new things that we have all around us were created by people that came up with an idea that they hadn't done before. So it doesn't make any sense that we couldn't do something that we haven't done before. But that's what the, you know, the first thing that voice is going to try to kill the dream and try to try to keep us safe. Right. <laughs> and so I think, you know, be willing to ask that voice some questions, be willing to, to challenge that voice and and allow your dream to live just a little bit longer. And, and I think that that would go a long ways for a lot of people because they allow that voice to kill the dream almost instantly. Right. We get this idea. Oh, I could, I could make $100,000 this year. And that little voice says, how would you do that? Right. And, and, and then we give up instead of challenging that voice a little bit and saying, well, wait a minute. Well, what if I could make $100,000 this year? 
right? Why not me? And then the little voice would go, wait, well, what, what do you mean? Why not you? <laughs> right. It, it, it can't deal with the rebuttal too much. And I think too many people let that voice just kill the, kill the first idea that comes. And then they kind of give up and they, you know, jump on, sit on the couch and watch Netflix instead of making their dream come true. I, I completely agree with that. And uh, I've learned about it as this voice, but uh, one of my, my coaches uh, along this journey, uh, which is Kelly Gordon. And she talks a lot about your monster. That's how mm -hmm. she calls it. There you so go. Like, it, it's the same thing. It's just a different name, right? But it, it's the exact same thing that you said. It's just that monster that we all have that wants to keep us safe, right? Oh, don't go there. We don't know what's there. Could be dangerous. Don't like it. And that is something that when you're aware of it, the awareness of it can help you really figure out how to deal with it. Because if you're not even aware that that's happening, you just think that that's just like your instinct or like, or something else that is actually protecting you. But in reality, it's just that, that normal human feeling of doing something different, of doing something that you've never done before, doing uh, something that uh, it might that uh, sound like hard and, and that it, it will come with some complications or something and my, our mind starts creating all this. Maybe it doesn't, but like, what if, right? And, and, and that monster usually likes to take that, like that fear of like, don't go there. We don't know. And let's just assume that it's wrong. But then when you start like thinking about, like you said, like just kind of uh, asking that, that voice is like, why not? And, and, and then like, you, if you, if you ask why not, enough times and, and you're honest with yourself and you stay like very logically uh, speaking about it uh, that way you can get to the root of the reason and then then oh it's just like a new thing or whatever this is normal I, i'm not going to pursue it so that's that's my two cents on this based on my experience <laughs> well, it's absolutely true right i mean the truth is if you want something that you don't have you have to do something you haven't done and that voice that's is going to try to stop you. <laughs> the minute you, you come up with an idea of something you haven't done before, that voice is going to say, oh, no, we can't do that. And so that's why so few people get the success, the level of success that they, they desire in their lives. That's why so few people really become goal achievers and, and are actually living their dream because they let that little voice, you know, shut them down. And so I love that your coach calls it their monster, right? The, because it's not you. And I think that's the biggest challenge for most people. The first challenge is thinking, well, that voice sounds like me. It's in my head, right? It, it's, it's got my voice. I, I hear it all the time, but it's not you. And so that voice is trying to prevent you from doing what you want to do simply because it's, it's in survival mode and it wants to keep you safe. And once you recognize that, like you said, awareness, then you have the opportunity to say, okay, wait, I appreciate you. I, I like that you want to protect me. I like that you want to save me. That's cool. But no, I want this dream. And this dream is bigger than anything that, that you're going to give me. And so I got to do some different stuff to get this crazy dream that I want. Definitely. Something that I think about every day. <laughs> As entrepreneurs, there's always risk involved. There's always risk. And it's, it's our job to be able to educate ourselves enough and surround ourselves with the right people that have a lot of experience, you know, we've got mentors and coaches that will help us to identify when it's just my monster trying to stop me and when it's actual, like, logical and reason that maybe, you know, this is a little bit too risky, right? There's a line in there, like, this, you're risking too much. Or, or don't risk it out. Like they'll have to stay in the middle. Everything is about balance in, in this world, in this life. So it's finding that balance that you're not going to ignore completely your voice trying to like save you. Because for example, like, oh, you see a cliff and you're like, damn, diving from here would be, we would be cool. It's kind of scary, but then I'm going to ignore this voice and jump right. You don't want that to happen. So it's, it's good to have the balance in, in things. And that's just something that I want to add on this. <laughs> Well, and, and the balance is asking yourself what, what could really happen, right? If you're making a video cliff jumping, right? And you're looking at, hey, I could jump off this cliff and and I can, you know, make my wings out of my shirt. Or or am I 
freaking out about going live on Facebook, <laughs> right? What's the consequence of, you know, what is the potential consequence? Jumping off the cliff, fall on rock, break head open, go on Facebook live, get embarrassed because you make a weird video and it doesn't go as planned, right? So, so yeah, you need to evaluate what are, what are the potential consequences? What are the potential outcomes of, of doing this? And, and, and if it is dangerous, then when your brain says, Ooh, this is really dangerous. And you say, Oh, you're right. I'm out. <laughs> exactly. That's, that's, that's exactly the lines that I was going with. Cause there's, you know, you have to be able to be aware again, you know, you gotta, it's awareness is everything. And that's why education is so important because knowledge is power and, and knowledge that that power is going to help you be more aware. And when you're aware, you can actually take rational decisions for your good. So just throwing that out, out there. And um, I would like to ask you, is there a challenge that you've had that you've learned something really valuable that you would like to share with the audience? Oh, absolutely. I think one of my biggest challenges coming from ministry, coming from uh, the nonprofit space where essentially I, I did all my work for free because I, I got a salary. Um, so, so the help I was giving people, I was giving for free. And, and there's a lot of entrepreneurs that want to help people. They want to serve people and, and they're not charging enough, right? There's this whole um, idea of money for hours, right? And, and, and they think about, you know, well, if I was working a regular job at an office, I'd get $25 an hour. And so now I'm going to go in and I'm going to, going to coach my clients and I'm going to help other people for $25 an hour. And I'm going to figure every one of my hours is worth $25. And, and if you put your services out there for $25 an hour, no one's going to take you seriously <laughs> because no one's going to see the value in that. And so we have to change our mindset from the price of something to the value that we're providing. And so if your services allow somebody to make $10,000 more dollars, right? Would it be worth $1,000? Right? So if you could get $10,000 by spending $1,000 with somebody, would you do it? No doubt. <laughs> right. So, so you, you, you help them create $10,000 in value. So now that's really the value. And then the cash price is only $1,000. It's a no brainer, right? And so you have to start thinking in terms of value. What is the value of the services that you offer? Just like a plumber when he comes into your house, right? He he's going to tell you that this project finished, you know, is going to cost you this much. But if you don't repair the pipes and you don't fix it, the damage it's going to do to your house is going to be tens of twenty thousand, thirty thousand dollars worth of damage. And so, yeah, I'm going to pay the plumber a thousand dollars to prevent twenty thousand dollars in damage to my house. And so, when you start thinking about value in terms of money in terms of the services that you offer in terms of the impact that your services have on somebody in the long term it it, it changes the conversation right and so how much is the problem that they're having worth right how much is the problem going to impact them over the next if they continue down this road for six months one year two years how much is that problem going to cost them and then if you got the real solution to that problem, how much impact is that going to have? So you got to start thinking about your solution in terms of impact and value rather than just this price and this hour, right? And that, you know, the big coaches that you hear that example of this, this machine quits working and they call this the old mechanic and the old mechanic comes and he taps on it with a hammer and then he bills them $10,000. And they're like, what? $10,000? It took you like, five minutes and and he's like well so i'll charge you you know twenty dollars for the five minutes that it took me but it's nine thousand nine hundred and eighty dollars for me knowing where to tap <laughs> right and so there's there's value in his knowledge there's value in the wisdom that he brought to the situation and the problem that he solved if that motor quits working for you know too long that company's losing losing tons and tons of money and so you can't think of it in terms of dollars and time. You've got to think of it in terms of value. And, and impact. Uh, that, that's that keyword that you said too that I, I really like because being in PR, it's, it's a lot about impact. So 
for me that that that's something very very important and something that i apply to myself and and to anybody in my network it's not about it's not about like the time like the time is a good factor to to know like as a measuring thing but not 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 just equals like time and money that's it it's it's, it's more of like what is the impact that you're causing right what what is the outcome and, and that's why like it, like in PR, it's like I don't charge people like oh for an hour of my time. It's like it's a PR campaign. This is what I'm aiming for. These are like the guarantees that we're gonna put in place just to say like look, feel safe. Like we're gonna do this work, and then like we just go to work. This is the price. This is five thousand, ten thousand, fifteen thousand, whatever it is, right? And this is the price because the, the ROI of this could be like insane. Right, because of that that's the power of PR, just being able to to reach more people with authority than now you're gaining trust at scale. So that's when when you say that it's something that resonates with me a lot. I never put like hours. I never say hourly rates ever. It's just all about results. And even with the with the employees that I get, I do have certain hours of look. This is this is the time that you're gonna be working, but it's all about impact. And that's why I'm very flexible because hey. If you're not coming tomorrow at this time, then make sure that at a different time you do the work that you have to do or do it today, stay later or something. And I'm very flexible about that because I only care about the results. Like, I don't care how you do it as long as the things are that, that need to have be happen, happen and that we have good communication and that's it. <laughs> yeah, so. impact. And, and the other thing, you know, there's people that want to make an impact, uh, uh, you know, socially, they want to they want to make an impact by you know, ending homelessness and or rescuing children or educating or saving the planet, but all of those things take money too, and so you can't you can't support any of those causes if you're broke. So you've got to figure out how to generate more revenue for yourself so that you can have a bigger impact in the causes that you want to support, and so it it really is about stewardship with your resources but the truth is you need to make more resources to support you know and have a bigger impact and and so it's not necessarily about you know being selfish or greedy because if it's about the money then then it's different but if it's about the impact that you can have for your family the impact that you can have in your community the impact that you can have in supporting causes that are really important to you that's far more valuable than than just this accumulation of money yeah um i put a post last week uh through all my social media that it says su success is freedom and impact mm. that's how i define success Be and, and everything was because i saw this podcaster that he has uh his name the name of his podcast is success is blank and i got me you know it was a thought-provoking thing to read and i was like success is and, and i came up with that that's freedom and impact and to be able to have that freedom and impact, you need money. And that's just a reality of things. And I feel, and this is something that I've learned also like along the journey, that if you see it as like, if you have that calling and that purpose of impacting people and helping people free them mentally, physically, however you want, you you have to think that look i need to be ambitious and i need to go and get the resources that i need to be able to impact this amount of people that i want to impact so that's why like i i go i'm very like purpose driven and 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 i yeah like i want i want to have money but it's not that's not the goal it's just it's a resource so i can free more people and impact more people because that's what success is for me. And I want to be a highly successful person. So that's, that's my take on, uh, on this. <laughs> well, it is. And it's true. So many, so many of us have been raised in this country that you work for money and money's the end game, but money is just the resource. Like you said, money's a resource. It's a, it's a tool, tool that you can use to do so much other stuff. <laughs> Said at the same time. That's funny. <laughs> so, um, you know, this 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 has have been has been a very good conversation uh it, it was like a compilation of all different things that i've learned from different coaches and it's cool because you know you're a coach too so it makes sense that the conversation went this way and and i didn't know what to expect coming here and and uh i'm having a good time so thank you for for this conversation it's been 
been pleasant. <laughs> well, thank you for, for having a great conversation. Yeah. So now let's do like a, I like doing like a quick recap, just like what are the biggest takeaways uh, based on what you can remember of what you said, right? If you forgot something, you know, the audience can just go back and listen to it. But in your opinion, what you can remember, what are the biggest takeaways of this conversation? Well, I mean, I think the two main things are recognizing, A, that the voice in your head isn't necessarily your friend, right? You, it's a monster. You it's not you. It's a monster, right? It's trying, to, it's, trying to, it's trying to keep you safe. And as entrepreneurs, safe is not going to give us growth, right? We need to change to have the different life that we want, to, have, you know, to create that lifestyle that we want. And then recognizing that, that money is a tool and that don't get focused and caught up on the money, get, get focused and caught up in the value, the value that you're providing, the change and impact that you're making you know, with your services. I think those uh, are the two biggest things. Thank you. I agree. I agree with you. Those definitely the the biggest takeaways. And I, I can see it. there's a lot of value in, in it because it's all about mindset and mindset is everything. Mindset is literally will determine uh, your life. So uh, thanks. Thanks uh, for, for sharing that and, and for being so like sharp with this, this, this has been great. Um, and uh, just to wrap this up, I have, Two last questions. Do you have something to promote and how can people find you? Well, well, we'll make it really easy. So I I love sharing stories of hope and I've partnered with my publisher and we're creating this compilation called Dose of Hope and Dose stands for dopamine, oxytocin, serotonin, and endorphins. So Dose of Hope, this is a print version, but we'll give away the ebook version that has my story in it, has some really other cool stories from really cool authors and so just get a dose of hope.com and you can go to get a dose of hope.com and we'll send you the ebook. And it's, it's, it's like a monster. So our goal is to get 500 stories of hope and share hope and, and love. And, and so, yeah, you can get that at get a dose of hope.com. You can find me on LinkedIn at Robert C. Peterson, the smiling entrepreneur coach, you'll find it, but also add value. The number two life.com. Awesome. Uh, thanks for, give multiple ways and people can find you there's not so just one way so uh multiple ways here like you know with the smiling entrepreneur coach that that you know that that should be a, a good a good keyword and if it's not then we'll we'll work on some pr and we'll make it rank higher in google <laughs> so uh definitely and, and one last thing that i want to say is that it, it it is nice what we talk giving your background because you came from like the ministry where it's like meant to just, it's all impact, really not money at all. It's just whatever you can get. Like, yeah, there's some money involved, but it's very different. Like you can't just make a business out of it. And I feel like that's the reason that you're like, look, I can have more impact if I can have control and have more resources. So that's why this talking about like your, your, your monster or talking about like money's not everything comes from a place for somebody that has the experience of living a life that money wasn't anything in a way like so i feel like it has an extra like touch of perspective and and i think that that adds a little extra value so i'm very very happy about this conversation well thank you Fu. i appreciate it very much and just love your your take on it perfect thanks thanks for taking the time i appreciate it and all we only all, only have like certain you know a finite amount of hours in in the day and, and in the week and for you to taking the time to come here and give some value and it's been a, a nice you know a uh, little a uh, couple of minutes with me that's that, that's valuable for me and i hope that we can uh help each other out in other ways and uh, impact more people right absolutely know that we can and, and know that i'll have you on my show so your audience can can find that there so we'll have another great conversation I just want to leave you guys with repeating my phrase of remember success is freedom and impact. And if you need help with your voice or you need help with PR, feel free, feel free to reach out to us. And this is Foo signing off. Thanks for listening to Moments with Foo with your host, Foo. Please leave your feedback and visit strategicadvisorboard.com to get the latest and greatest business advisement on the planet. Follow us on social media for updates and we will see you on the next episode.